What's going on guys? Johnny the High Tech Guy here. Today we are going to talk about the best memory card to use for the Akazo V50 Pro. Okay, so a couple of people down in the comments have said, hey, I'm getting uh, errors, low card speed, uh, low uh, card low speed, low speed card, whatever. Okay, so the problem is that the Akazo is trying to write to the card and the card is not able to handle the writes of the Akazo. That means that the Akazo is trying to put data onto this card and the card's like, uh, I can't do it fast enough, right? So um, what you wanna do is you wanna get a new card. So the minimum, uh, the recommended card, uh, according to the manufacturer on the Akazo is the Samsung Evo Select, okay? They recommend 64 gig. Uh, you can get the uh, 128 gig, it works just fine, but that's just me. So if you want to stick to the manufacturer specifications, get the 64 uh, gigabyte. But this card, as you can tell, it has 100 uh, megabytes per second read, 90 up to 90, right? That's the minimum specifications that you want to get according to the manufacturer. Now I did find a SanDisk Extreme, which also writes 90 uh, megabytes per second, but reads 100, 160. So this seems like a better card. I'll go ahead and do some uh, some tests and make sure that works just fine on there. Um, I did a um, I did another video on the different types of memory cards. Uh, well, I did a video on low card speed itself, and I'll put a link up here. And it and I talk about the different 4K this 4k this very similar to this video uh, but the main thing is is you you need for the um, you need the proper card for devices like this and if you want to uh, one of the main points I did in my other video is that you got to look for the 4k uh, the extreme does it and watch the other video because some of these cards are look exactly the same, but one little tiny word is the difference can be a 4K difference compared to 1080 difference. Um, I'll put a link up here if I didn't already um, to the video. So at least the Samsung Evo Select 64 gig, okay, for the Akazo. Uh, I have always been recommending, and you'll see some of my uh, comments below, the SanDisk. Ultra Plus, not the Ultra. It's got to be the Ultra Plus 128 gig. It works just fine. Um, not the Ultra, the regular Ultra. See how close, I mean, you don't even have to see that other video. I'm going to show you here. See the how close that these look? I mean, they look just the same. If you saw this in a package, you might be confused, right? So, Ultra Plus on the SanDisk, um, Ultra Plus. And like I said, the 128 is fine, but you know, if you're going to stick with the manufacturer specifications, go ahead and stick with that. Uh, but the, I'll put a link to, to both of these, uh, Extreme Evo. Anyways, that's the memory card that I recommend. And I know that the Ultra Plus works just fine, whichever one suits you better uh, pick. But those three will absolutely work on the uh, Kazo V50 Pro. Uh, got any questions? Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Put comments below. Let me know what you think. Hit that bell notification somewhere uh, so you can, uh, when you subscribe, so you can get all my videos. And um, share this video with someone who's having this low card speed or who wants to know what uh, what uh, memory card is good for the Kazo V50 Pro. Great little camera. I did another uh, video on the I've did a couple of different videos. Uh, I'll put some links in the description below on the V50 Pro. I did unboxing and stuff like that. And did a couple of uh, video tests. Uh, great uh, YouTube competitor. Uh, not YouTube. Great uh, GoPro competitor. Um, at a very fraction of the price. I'd highly recommend it. But you guys probably, if you're watching this video, you already have it. So um, if not, get you one. Anyways, peace out. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, have a great one. Peace.